by you. Okay. Josh, you flew with the I, Thunderbirds? I knew that this was going to be an opportunity for Dan to mention his flying experience. Oh, yes. well, I flew yes. with the Oregon Air National Guard, the F-15, <laughs> which is cool. bigger and faster. That Same. Is, that's pretty cool. Did you wear a G-suit, Dan? I did wear a G-suit. Oh, did you yeah. uh, get sick like I, I did? I did not get sick. End. I'm very proud oh, of that. Okay. Uh, Wait did you a get second. sick? Who pulled the most G's? I did. What? Well, you claim you did. 9.2 right here. Well, mine was classified. They said I did at least oh eight gosh. and a half. Oh, okay. my gosh. Oh, classified. Okay. Wow. Okay. Anyway, on anyway. the way. Let's <laughs> move on here. I think we all know who won the G meter. 50 degrees right here. Ridgefield, a lovely view. A nice, calm evening out there without the rain, but our wind at the surface and our winds aloft are raging. Yes, especially from earlier this afternoon. We have some stronger winds at the surface. That's just beginning to kind of quiet down. But look at all those clouds surrounding Mount St. Helens. We've been seeing the mountain peek out between the clouds here and there, but at the moment, we're all covered up. Also out to Mount Hood. This is a nice sight. We had a nice wave formation from those stronger winds again pushing that air right over the top of Mount Hood and then condensing on the other side, giving it that nice wavy look. It's kind of starting to fall apart right now. 49 degrees. Wind is out of the southeast at 14 and temperatures tonight will be in the low to mid 40s A mostly dry night. And then we get to more rain tomorrow. There's a live look seaside. That's a pretty picture. OK, so after tonight we get into tomorrow and we're into. Yeah, you guessed it. More rain. Heavy showers possible, especially as we get into Thursday. But daytime highs uh, certainly above normal for this time of year. We're expecting the low 50s. Here's our latest area of low pressure spinning offshore, starting to see a couple of lightning strikes just off this uh, southern Oregon coastline here into places like Coos Bay and Port Orford. So be aware, thunderstorms for you a little bit farther south. Now here's the big picture. Another atmospheric river is setting up and it will be eventually giving us a decent amount of rain. But until then, California is the bullseye. Eventually, Thursday and Friday will be our turn for some heavier showers. So for tomorrow, rainfall totals about a third of an inch, maybe upwards of a half inch as you make your way a little bit farther south down towards Eugene and out towards the coast. But if you add up Friday's totals all the way through Sunday night, we could be seeing more than two inches of rain for the Willamette Valley and out towards the coast, upwards of three to even three and a half inches. So what's the timing for all of this? We still have our easterly wind in place tonight. Mostly dry until we get closer to midnight, one o'clock in the morning. There's your rain and we'll see it kind of come through in waves. Part of Wednesday, part of tomorrow between our late morning hours and early afternoon, you'll get a couple hours where you're not worried about the rain for the Portland area. And then here comes the next wave. Wednesday afternoon, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, that equals more mountain snow. Temperatures are moving up a little bit as we get to the end of the week, which means our snow levels will be going from about 4,000 feet all the way up to 7,000 feet for Thursday and Friday. Mostly southerly flow here for you. Bigger impacts at the coast Friday and morning into Friday afternoon. There's our next big area of low pressure. You can see it very well defined in our future cast going into Saturday morning. That means, yes, more rain for the coastline, stronger winds for the coast as well, and more mountain snow going into Sunday. Here's a look at that ski report. Timberline 78 inches as well as Mount Hood Meadows, 36 inches for Ski Bowl. How much more snow could we see? Well, as we get to the end of the week, the highest snow totals will be found above the tree line, closer to about 6 to 12 inches especially for our mountain resorts, something to celebrate there. You're not going to be worried about seeing the snow down on our mountain passes, but you will see again the snow level climbing to about 7000 feet as we get to the end of the week here. What that means for Portland is our daytime highs get into the low 50s going into the weekend. More showers continuing through Sunday and even Monday and Tuesday of next week. Temperatures once again in the mid to upper 40s. We're not seeing any low elevation snow in this forecast. It's all about rain and warmer than normal temperatures. Yes, yeah, very comfortable temperatures. Yes. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey, coming up, what research?